Hello, good morning, good evening, and welcome to Connor's Retro Omnibus. Today is episode two on our Pokemon Brown Adventure. Oh, that, that sounds good, doesn't it? A brown adventure. Anyway, we're playing the classic ROM hack, Pokemon Brown, and we're going to go ahead and continue. We left off um, after just venturing slightly into Merson Cave. We picked our starter, who is uh, our Charmander called Smokey, and on our first trip into the cave, we caught a Zubat, and we also caught a Geodude. Standard cave Pokemon fair so far. I wonder if we'll meet anything different. Let's carry on, shall we? Oh, there we go. Straight in. A Diglett. Okay. That might be useful. Shall we catch that? No, not potion. Pokeball. There we go. I'm going to put Pokeballs at the top because I keep nearly potioning things. There we go. Diglett was caught. I'm going to call Diglett Doug. Doug the Diglett. There's a there's a bit of a theme when, when, when it comes to naming my Pokemon, as you can probably tell. What's up here? It's a rare candy. And a repel. Nice. I might end up needing that because I'm catching every wild thing that's going. So what's in here? Entered Purified Protected Zone. Okay, Pokemon fully healed. Okay, I'll take that. I'm not going to complain about a free heal. So everybody is now tip-top shape for the next trainer. What's up here? It's a Moonstone. Nice, that would be useful if we come across a Clefairy. Or if we get a Nidoran. Oh no, lots of Zubats. Lots and lots of Zubats. I'm going to use that Repel. There we go. So, which going around the outside of the area that we were in previously. So, okay, what's this? A potion. That's going to be useful. And we can't avoid this guy. So far, we haven't been able to avoid any of the trainers that we've fought. Which is annoying, to say the least. Yo, dude, what's up? It's Super Nerd, wants to fight. Ooh, Geodude. I've got one of them. Snap. Okay, so that guy's down. What else has he got? He's got another Geodude. Will we change? Yeah, let's get some experience for Zoe. He's probably only got Tackle, but he is twice my level. So... He could probably do some good damage. Yeah, I'm not doing enough to make that worthwhile. Let's go back to to, uh, to Smokey. Any more? Yeah, Repel's effects wore off. Let's go ahead and use that on Smokey. He's he's the main guy. He's the one who's carrying the team. Can I avoid this guy? No, I cannot. Hey, want to play? Sure, why not? What do you want to play? Cards? Blackjack? 21? Uh, no, it looks like he wants the Pokemon battle. Bugger. Do 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 do. do, 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 do. Okay, nicely done. I defeated another bug catcher. You got me. Yeah, that I did. Oh, what's around here? It's another Pokemon battle. It's another Zubat. Okay, so it looks like there's not much else worth catching in the cave. Now, I'm not on a quest to catch everything. I'm not trying to fill the Pokedex.
Okay, it's the Lavender Town music, so this place is a bit miserable. Uh, who's this guy? I'll try to face the Pokemon Gym Leader, but I'm way too weak to fight him. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, that's taking us out of town by the looks of it. Think you're tough? Go face Carp Man. Carp Man. Merson City, the noble little town. Okay. So there's the Mart. A bunch of very well spaced out houses, I must say. Who's this? Say hi to my cute Cubone. Christ, this music, great. Uh, I share the Pokemon fan club. I've collected over 100 Pokemon. Hey kid, did you bring in a cool Pokemon? Yeah, of course I did. Bet you've never seen a Zubat before, have you? Yeah. He apparently liked my Zubat because I now have a bicycle voucher. Nice. So, we... Hang on a minute. Is that grass? You don't normally get grass in the town. That's interesting. Does it have any Pokemon? I don't know whether... Oh, yes, yes it does. It's a Pidgey. A level 18 Pidgey, okay. This might end badly. Uh, let's try a Metal Claw. But yeah, you don't normally get grass in towns and cities. It's usually on the routes between places. So that is quite interesting. I wonder if that's an oversight by the developer or whether... That is intentional. So, as I was about to say earlier, before I noticed that patch of grass, let's go and see what kind of gym the first town has. Merson Pokemon Gym, Leader Carpman, Winning Trainers Miura. Oh, that fucker. Based on the fact that this guy is called Carpman, and the fact that we're on what appears to be water, I'm going to say that this is a water gym. And that I have badly prepared for a water gym. Oh god. I've got a rock type, a poison type. Who doesn't have any poison moves. And a fire type. As well as a ground type. And Diglett only knows Scratch. Alright, okay. This is going to be painful. Alright, let's see what the first train is like. Let's see what, it, what the levels are like. Junior trainer wants to fight. Squirtle, okay. Level 11. And this is just the first trainer, so... I might want to level up, maybe. I might want to do a bit of grinding. Uh, there we go, a couple of critical hits. It's going easy enough so far. Level 15 for Smokey. Do we want to change over to Seal? Yeah. Let's get Zoe some, some levels, because I feel like we're going to need someone to fall back on. And let's switch back. Headbutt. Oh, God. No, he's going down now. So, that wasn't too bad. Zoe's grew to level 6. Nice. I thought I had a chance against you. Well, you thought wrong, didn't you? Okay, and it's just a straight up to the gym. So, like in Gen 1, where you only have one trainer before Brock, it, uh, it looks like there's only one trainer for that guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. I'm going to get primarily Zoe up to a higher level. So I'm better prepared to take on the gym leader. I don't want to have to mess around and try this guy about 400 times. So I'll just see you in a moment. Okay, so I've done a little bit of grinding and I've gotten everybody up a couple of levels. Um, I caught a dojuo well, named Dave and got him up to level 8. He now has Peck and Growl. Um, Doug I haven't done anything with. Um, Jerry, level 11, now knows Rock Throw. Um, Smokey's still level 15, and Zoe has now learned Supersonic at level 10. So, let's go ahead and see what the gym leader, Carpman, is all about. I'm Carpman, 
I train only water type Pokemon. Fire is useless against my mighty water attacks. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. Let's fight. So this should be interesting. Okay, that's clearly the sprite for Brock. And he's got a horsey. Okay, no problem. That's nothing to be worried about. Let's, uh, let's get this guy confused first. There we go. Finally, I get to confuse other Pokémon rather than me being confused. Right, what does Leech Life do? Does it do a decent... Uh, not really. It confused no more. What was the... Oh, for fuck's sake. Why do we bother? Why do we bother? Damn it. Confuse him. But it fa of course it failed. Ugh. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay. I might have to use a potion. I really don't want to do. I don't like using potions in battle. Although when I, when I usually enforce that rule, it's when I'm doing a playthrough of a game that I've played before. Or when I'm playing Fire Red, I know what's coming up. So it's not as much of a problem. Hey, level 16. Vaporeon. Okay, that might be a problem. Do we want to change? Ugh, uh... Let's go to Dave, our Doduo. So we've got a level 12 Vaporeon. Uh, okay. Bide, okay. Now I can ma I can force Bide to miss by not attacking it while he's biding. So if I just keep lowering his attack, unleashed energy, attack missed, because there was there was nothing to bide against, if you like. Right, he's using Bide again. But I've lowered his attack a decent bit, so if I just peck him to death, just peck his eyes out, that's what we'll do. Oh, damn. Uh, do, do, do. Let's go over to Smokey. Scratch. Oh, it doesn't do much. No, not sand attack. Now I'll never hit anything again, ever. Okay, he's biding his time, so if I just keep using Growl. Okay, let's get in there and scratch him. Tackle's not doing much. As long as he doesn't come out with a water move, we'll be alright. Damn, critical hit you, mother. But, ugh, can I be really cheeky and get away with Zoe killing this guy? Alright, leech life. I'm gonna need at least another one. He's coming so close. Bide. But no, provide not hit. Yep, you're down. You're gone. Get out of here, you silly water cat. 504, that's a lot of XP. Damn, there's proof of your victory. Here's the Marine Badge. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It Bearers Pokemon become the technique Flash can never used, okay? And I got some money. And Smokey's evolving. God damn. I have no idea what his what his learn set is here, so I'm just gonna get him evolved. Any kind of advantage in the coming sections is gonna be much required. TM twelve. Uh, is that water gun? Can be talked to any Pokemon. So we use it. Uh, TM12 contains Octazuka. Right. 
knows the accuracy of your throw. That definitely wasn't in Gen 1. I'm sure TM-12 was water gun back in the day. Okay, interesting. So, it's time to go and heal up and adventure forward. We've got our first badge against the water gym, despite having a bit of a, a type advantage against us. We persevered and we we won. We, we defeated the evil carp man. So, that's probably a decent place to end this episode. So, what we'll do is end it here and we will venture forth in the next episode. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Please do let me know in the comments if you are enjoying this series and what did you think about about Carp Man? Um, I for one am surprised that his Vaporeon didn't use any water moves. That was a bit, uh, a bit disappointing, but what can you do? Anyway, until the very next one, I will see you guys later. Bye.